Welcome to our lecture online. So now let's go ahead and do an example of some hypothesis testing. In the previous video, we came up with a null hypothesis that was appropriate for trying to prove that the air in LA was unhealthy. So here again, we have the same parameters. If the AQI, the air quality index, is greater than 100, that's considered unhealthy air. And if the AQI, the air quality index, is less than or equal to 100, they consider that to be good quality air. It's healthy, you can breathe it without any uh, health problems. So we're going to try to show that the air is unhealthy in a particular location. So we need to come up with a null hypothesis. Remember that the null hypothesis always indicates the opposite of what you're trying to show. So the null hypothesis should show that the air is healthy if, it's, if the null hypothesis is accepted. So we say that the, in the null hypothesis that the AQI, the air quality index, equals 100. Now that implies that it's equal to 100 or less than 100. It implies this but we write that, that just the way it's done, and so that would then be considered that the air is healthy, as long as it's 100 or less, so we take the limit of what healthy air would be. And then we have an alternate hypothesis that says that the air quality index is greater than 100. Well, if it's not equal to 100 or not less than 100, it must be greater than 100. And also, we're going to let the sample size equal 16. So we're going to take a sample, sample size of 16, and test our hypotheses. So here we have the population. Now remember, the population is dependent upon what our null hypothesis is. The null hypothesis says that the AQI is 100, so we set the mean, the average level, to 100. Let's say that the standard deviation is 5, and let's say that the level of significance is equal to 5%, which means we have a critical region here where the z-score, the edge of that critical region, is 1.65. And how do we find that? We simply go to the table, we look up 5%, and that gives us a z-score of 1.65. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to calculate the test statistic. So t is going to be equal to the sample um, the sample uh, mean minus the population mean divided by sigma divided by sigma is the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the size of the sample the sample size now of course we're going to need a um, oh let's see here we're going to need a mean of the sample and let's say the mean of the sample is equal to 104. So is that sufficiently large to indicate that yes, the standard, devia the, not the standard, but the mean of the population is indeed larger than 105? What we're trying to do here is reject the null uh, hypothesis, and is that sufficiently large to reject the null hypothesis? So let's find out. So this is equal to 104 minus 100 divided by the standard deviation, which is 5, divided by the square root of the sample size, which is 16. So this becomes equal to 4, divided by 5, divided by 4. And so this becomes 4 times 4, divided by 5, which is 16, divided by 5, which is equal to 3.2. So here we determined that the, that the uh, test statistic is 3.2. Now the question is, is t greater than z? Because if it is, we're going to reject the null hypothesis. So in this case, t being 3.2 is that greater question mark than 1.65. 1.65, and that's indeed the case. True, t is greater than z, and therefore we're going to reject the null hypothesis. And we're going to do that with a level significance of 5%, which means that we have the level of confidence of 95% that we're going to correctly reject the null hypothesis. That's pretty high, 95% level of confidence that we're going to correctly reject the null hypothesis. So we're rejecting that the AQI index is 100 or less, that the air is unhealthy, which means that we can reject the null hypothesis, then the alternate hypothesis must be true, which means that the AQI is greater than 100, which means that in the location we're testing, the air is indeed unhealthy. 
And that is how it's done. Is that a wrap for today? Okay, let's do it. Thank you.